Hi and welcome back to the series showing you how to get involved with WoW PvP and how to enjoy doing so. In this episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about keybinds, why they're important and some tips to keep in mind when setting your own. Keybinds are an essential part of PvP. Clicking your spells just won't cut it for you anymore and will set you on a huge disadvantage. Setting keybinds for yourself can take a while, but in the end it'll be worth it in every way. There is also no single best way to set your own personal keybinds. Some people use numbers 1 through 5, some people use the keys around their movement keys, and some people even use the arrow keys for movement and the numpad for their spells. As long as important abilities aren't too difficult to reach, anything is fine. This is an example of how keybinds will look once set up. Myself, I like to try my best to keep similar abilities together in a way that will enable me to set up my bars across different characters to be able to think about what ability I want rather than what keybind I'm looking for. For example, for R, Alt R and Shift R, I have different CC type abilities set according to their frequency of usage and their cooldown. On R, I have Disrupting Shout, an ability which needs to be pressed quickly to interrupt important spells. On Alt R, I have my Fear, Another important ability, but having a longer cooldown and having its use more situational to my choosing, I can leave it with an alt combination. And finally, an ability that only is really effective on melee targets, I have disarm on shift R. Another thing I do is always leave shift C open for my trinket and shift 1 open for an interrupt ability such as kick or pummel. One thing you should keep in mind here however, is using combinations with alt because with a healer, using alt with a bind will target yourself with this ability. I don't play healer, so it's not a problem for me, but if you are binding for a healer, you should keep this in mind. Another thing is, don't make binds stressful to reach. Something like alt Control shift 7 is not a realistic bind to use. You also want to have instant cast spells reachable when moving at the same time. If like me, you have Q as your strafe left, you don't want to have an important instant cast spell like Chimera Shot for Hunters, on a bind like 1 or Grave Key, because unless you have extremely flexible fingers, you can't press those keys while moving with Q. Movement keys are also important, but again, can be personalised to however you want. I use Q, W and E for my left strafe, forward movement and right strafe, leaving A and D open for more abilities. The reason why I don't have back battle key bound is because you should try to your best to avoid back battling. There is no use for it. Also, I have strafe instead of turn bound because keyboard turning is another thing you should break the habit of. The easiest way to do this is to completely unbind back paddle and turning from your keybinds. Of course, you don't have to bind abilities in these places until you're used to not using them anymore. A really good add-on which helped me when I was still first learning to use keybinds is called Bartender 4. This add-on has a feature which allows you to make your ability bars click through, which makes it really easy to break the habit of clicking your spells. I'm not actually sure if this is a feature that's in the game that can be used without an add-on, but Bartender 4 again has a lot of features that I myself like using and you could as well, so you might want to use it, but I'm going to talk more about those features in a future episode. In the end, keybinds really come down to personal preference. There is no wrong or right way to set them, as long as they're easy for you to use, then you've done it right. I hope this video has helped you out with setting your keybinds. There'll be more videos in the future, so stay tuned, and I'll see you guys again in the next episode.